my gosh, for goodness sake, it's time for another bogus quote break. Hello, folks. For this month's bogus quote, I have a deposit on a rather large slapdown that's in the offing. It has to do with a quote I referred to in the vid, Richard Dawkins Dies Again, and a response a fundy atheist made to something I noted as an error by Dawkins. Hey, you stupid fundies. This is Barker Man, a middle-aged Englishman. That idiot Hawking insulted my god Richard Dawkins by saying he took this quote out of context. Well, I can't agree that Dawkins should have used the full quote on context, sure. But I don't think he gives a misleading picture of Jefferson's views on the issue of religion, especially Christianity. So there. Okay, biker man. So you want to evade Dawkins' screw-up by shifting the goalposts, do you? Well, let's see about the reality. To begin, let's remember what it is Dawkins attributes to Jefferson. Here are the exact words from The God Delusion. In my vid description for Richard Dawkins Dies Again, I gave a link to a specialty website on Jefferson one that includes an examination of quotes by him. As you can see, the quote reads quite differently, remarkably so. In fact, we find out just how badly Dawkins has abused it, most likely because he just lifted it off some second-hand source rather than knowing what was originally said. In context, in a letter to Joseph Priestley, Jefferson clearly is indicating that the perversion he refers to was the result of those who live by mystery and charlatanry. He doesn't think Christianity itself is the perversion, which is what Dawkins' misuse indicates. Rather, he's saying that he thinks Christianity itself, which is actually sublime and benevolent, was perverted. Poor biker man thinks he can evade Dawkins' blunder by saying he thinks it doesn't give a false or misleading picture of Jefferson's views. Well, yes, it does, because the way Dawkins has it, Christianity itself is the perversion, and that apart from any changes made to it by charlatans. Heck, even I could agree that Christianity has been perverted by certain fakers in that sense. Bikerman also thinks he can cover Dawkins' butt by saying that, quote, there are plenty of other similar quotes which will reinforce Jefferson's views on Christianity. Well, good luck finding some. A lot of those are bogus, too, like this one I covered in a prior bogus quote break. But really, it doesn't matter about any other quotes, or even about the Jefferson Bible, for that matter. The point here is, Dawkins screwed up on this quote, period. And no amount of shimmying by Dawkins' fanboys is going to change that nor relieve Dawkins of his responsibility for the error. So anyway, watch your back, biker man, because defending Dawkins on this point is just the least of your screw-ups. And don't think anyone missed the fact that you couldn't defend your hero for his use of that bogus quote by Franklin, too. Until next time, this is J.P. Holding. See ya. Hey, look, you stupid Christians. I can juggle these bogus quotes.